So, you guys want to know how to make money as a free-to-play player, huh? <laughs> well, I got a few ideas. So how's it going everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to another, well, Dead Frontier Guide, everybody. So, guys... Uh, before we get started in the following video, first things first, please give a like to this video below and also please follow my Discord server in the description below. We have a lot of players here who always talk about some different tier stuff. So if you guys are always down to kind of, you know, just give your own opinion or anything about the game, please feel free to go in there. We don't judge. Just keep it nice and mature. And yeah. And of course, without further ado, let's present the comment of the day, which is Ronaldo C. Now, this comment really isn't funny. It's just I have to clear up the air because some people got some bit of Mr misinterpretation from this so he says so i see that you got a, f a few free items which isn't fair for the series don't think that's so usual for everyone else to get them weapons especially a dog so man remember this just happened it was in i think episode three where pretty much i did get the free items but then me and francisco were talking about it and at the end of the day we both agreed that yo we can't really take him so all i did was simply discard them i didn't scrap them because you can still get 40k from that but i discard them and yeah because pretty much we didn't feel good just continuing with weapons we got for free but yeah i don't want anybody else thinking that i'm cheating in this series like i said i don't even play on the weekends or even if there's a like a holiday event because it just doesn't seem right so yeah ronaldo I like the fact that you actually posted this comment therefore i can talk to the rest of the community but yeah pretty much that's it for the you know opening scene for this video so without further ado let's get right into part one which is how do you make money as a free-to-play player so guys everybody knows that a free-to-play player is one of the most difficult ways to make money you know pretty much on your own because there's a lot of things that you know pretty much get in your way so first things first is what are the limitations so for the first part is your loots are restricted yes the loots are pretty much restricted guys so I'm not talking about the level 49, which is one of the few things that kind of sucks when you start off because back then, before the restriction, people would just go straight to Fort Pastor and you'd be able to find some good weapons here and there and people wouldn't care, really. They'll go AFK during boss fights and, you know, those particular areas that spawn two to three bosses at a time. And then, of course, the high players got pissed off saying, hey, I don't want to play this game if I'm going to multiplayer with the boys and then there's a three, four people who are super low level go AFK and that causes the sink to kind of mess up and now these bosses have unlimited health and then we all die because of that. And then I do all the work and then these guys just get out of AFK and loot them. So of course, Admin Pwn and his, you know, developers decided to say, you know what, you guys are right. So they simply put on the restriction that way it kind of not only discouraged people to not really skip those outposts, which is nice as, you know, dogs for all that stuff. All right. But at the same time, it kind of forced them to play the game because if you really want to experience the game now, I believe, like I said, I believe the restriction is up to level 45. That's what I've been hearing. That's what people have uh, DM me in Discord. So once you hit level 45, all restrictions are removed from looting. So yeah, it, it kind of does suck, but I understand where they're coming from. So just keep that in mind, all right? And not only that, as a non-free-to-play player, you cannot loot any level 120. Now, I know I've been gone for a while, but last I heard, that's what it was. So pretty much you cannot loot any legendary weapons, any good armors, no bios, none of that, of course. You can, you can only loot, which is pretty much a very small percentage, is a Vulcan, uh, AA-12s, anything that was epic back in the day. So yeah, other than that though, you have no chance of looting anything delicious. You guys are pretty much just stuck, or we are stuck, and just, you know living off the scrap which pretty much sucks because back then it was the vulcan that kind of got us through but now not even that's worth you know pennies that's worth just crap now <laughs> all right so now that we got that out of the way let's go to part two how do you really make money all right so for the part two which is my favorite way to make money is simply loot the ammo all right i know when it comes to looting everybody's always looking for the nice juicy sexy item which is an xt or, or a nice you know scrap which is 40k and every time you loot an elite or an epic everybody gets excited because now you have at least 100 or 200k in one loot run but this is where i want to say get that type of mindset out of your head all right if there's anything I've learned in this series is that ammo really does go for a lot compared to back then. Back then, ammo really didn't go for too much because it was the same old weak weapons. The most expensive ammo we had back then, and it still is more or less today, 
uh, is 12.7 because we had the Vulcan and the Rex and the GAU. Other than that, we didn't have any of these 0.55s and 16 gauge. We had none of that, guys. So the fact that most of these ammos are pretty much expensive nowadays, heavy grenades, you know, uh, 12.7, 14mm, 9mm rifle bullets, and you can easily find them even as a non-goal member, tells you a lot. So what I recommend you do is every time you find a path or a piece of the, of the ammo stack, keep it, all right? Because ammo really does go for a lot nowadays. And let me tell you something it adds up over time not only that but every single weapon that used to be expensive like i said for example dual blade greyhawk is now pretty much chump change they're like 60k so even if you had gold membership and you found these weapons in the in the inner city it, it just aren't worth much anymore now the hot take is blueprints uh parts pretty much those type of thing implants those things make you the bag but now even if you find something like a like a bow you're looking at around 100 to 200k so just keep in mind guys as a non gold member just loot the ammo and you'll be fine and you'll be able to find or pretty much buy some sexy weapons you know that pretty much will help you in the long run For part two is, well, one of the dumbest, but pretty much easy ways to kind of make also a quick buck. And that is my favorite, the boss hunt loot run, guys. So again, as a non-free-to-play player, you do not have any chance of looting any level 120s when it comes to facing these bosses I don't know, as a non go member. But, you know, a boss is guaranteed a scrap. But there's two ways to kind of take on these bosses, which is number one. You grow some huevos, that means some eggs in, in English. <laughs> you grow some eggs, you go into the inner city, and you actually take on the damn thing, all right? Basically, you just fight it, whether it be an FBT or long arms or whatever, but you just take them on, and hopefully you have enough skills to pay the bills, and you take them out, and in turn, you have the nice scrap every time you loot a boss. Or you can take the, you know, the pretty pussy way out, <laughs> which is... You know, you go in there, you shoot it once or twice. I don't know if, again, maybe the Ammon Pawn nerfed it like this. But, yeah, you shoot it once or twice, and then you just let other people kill it. <laughs> again, very, very uh, scary, uh, very, very scary pants of a way to kill it. But, honestly, those are the two ways you can take on these bosses. Or, again, the third way, which is you take the boss, you find a tennis court or, or a wall, and you just take them off from there, you know. But just remember, if you want the experience as well, I also recommend going uh, left and right, left and right, moving up and down. That way you also get the experience, which is also a nice plus. Because again, you want to level up as fast as you can so to make the game even easier. So when you take these guys on, you're not really suffering as much anymore. But yeah, those are the, two, the three ways I think of it. Which is number one, balls to the walls. You go in there, take on the boss, no offense or nothing. You just have the skills to pay the bills. Uh, part number two, you go in there as a scaredy pants, uh, you AFK, you hit it once or twice, AFK, hit it once or twice, AFK, and let the actual elite players take it out, <laughs> and you just go in there and, you know, take the nice loot, or three, you find a wall or a tennis court and just take it on in there, which, again, I feel like is my personal favorite, but, hey, uh, to each and everybody on their own. And for part three, we're going to kind of involve real life into Death Frontier because honestly, this is a, you know, a no-brainer, which is pretty much once you have a set amount of money, which is like, let's say, credits are going for what, 2.2 mil? Buy the credits. Just buy the credits, all right? Pretty much, credits in no way or form are ever going to lose their value. It's like gold in real life. You invest your money into the, into the credit, and every time something new comes out, those credits skyrocket. So if you bought the credit for 2.1 mil and a new item that was announced a month ago comes out, those you know 2.1 mil credits you bought them you bought them for is now worth 2.5 mil so you made a nice sexy 400k and you sell the credit you know but pretty much that's like a long it's like a long-term investment again we're in we're involved in real life here you buy it for cheap you sell it for high all right don't buy it for high and sell it for low don't do that that's just that's just dumb i was gonna say the r word but i don't want to get demonetized but yeah buy low sell it high all right again this is an easy way that many people do it but yeah that's kind of like a easy way out it's just a very long-term investment because again it's guaranteed i'm going to release more weapons and more clothing and it's going to happen it's, it's going to happen merching again we're evolving real life here that is you're an entrepreneur you know the game you know how to play the bills play the bills <laughs> sorry guys i'm excited uh pretty much you buy low so high so you go in the market and you just stay there for hours again it's like stocks you look around you buy armors or weapons that are just cheap as heck 
Well, let's say uh, for a minute, someone was selling a dual blade for 40K and then you see your constant 60K in the market. So now you just put it up for 61K and you made a nice 21K there, all right? It's not a really slow process. It's just a very uh, a very tedious one because you got to constantly keep refreshing the market and seeing when things are going to go up. Uh, same thing again for the events. Uh, ammos is more or less, well, pretty much the same thing. Ammo back then was 14K, but because of the event, it's now 30K. So you buy every single type of 12.7 because, you know, that's what is involved with the new weapon and you sell it for 30k and you made a nice profit there but again it's something that is pretty much obvious but not many people do they go the traditional way which is just loot and loot for hours and then just sell everything you made and keep it going like that but many people prefer this type the merchant way and the investment way which is buy credits for low sell them for high or buy armor for low weapons for low and sell them for high it's, it's, it's a faster way to make money but it's a very tedious one and you know you can pretty much do it when you're watching a movie or watching your favorite show on another monitor or another screen and again time flies so Yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have. Let's just recap one more time. Part one, loot the ammo. Uh, keep it no matter what, and you'll make a nice profit. Part two, kill the bosses. There are three ways to kill them, which is balls to the walls, uh, AFK, and shoot once, and go AFK again. <laughs> and part three, behind the wall. And then, obviously, for part three is buy credits sell them for low sell them for high when there's events coming out you make a nice sexy 500k profit but it's a long-term investment and for part four become an entrepreneur buy uh low price ammo weapons and sell them for high especially when the event is out and yeah that's pretty much all i have for you free to play players i mean again these are all uh pretty much long tedious ways but at the end of the day we got to use what we got uh for go members i'm not even gonna tell you <laughs> you guys know what you're doing you're pretty much using your credit card you can buy 100 credits for three dollars and you sell them for three mil yeah it's easy guys <laughs> but yeah guys i'm signing out i hope you guys like this guide and i'll see you guys around take it easy bye